Hello Louisiana Beer Reviews, we're doing a mystery taste challenge for this beer and David is going to try to guess now why his eyes are closed, I'm going to pour the beer. While my eyes are closed, can I feel the vessel? I guess, but I'm, I'm pouring it right now. Well, when you're finished pouring it, while my eyes are closed, can I put my hands on the vessel? Is there some kind of clue that you're going to take from it? All right. Yeah, so you, you, you were using a clue because you were feeling if it had the taped on no, or the shrink wrap. I didn't or... ask, so it's it's not a clue. Okay. I felt. Okay. Right. Felt. Uh huh. Adjust the camera a little bit. <clears throat> well, it's golden. Foamy head, some bubbles. Of course, you gave yourself more again. No. Put it down. You gave yourself more. Okay, again. that was a mistake. I tried to. You're do not it allowed right. to pour anymore. Every time you pour, you give yourself more, and then you say, "No, I don't. No, I don't." Sorry about that, folks. Look at that. It was a mistake. Literally, I was trying to. I don't know how I could properly guess this beer when you're taking most of it in your vessel. <laughs> I don't know what to do, but okay. So you get two more clues, I should say, since you... What is the alcohol volume? Alcohol is 4.2. Any comments on the aroma and flavor from you? I've had it before. I thought it was something else, and then you said 4.2, so I'm going in a different direction. Hmm. I'm drinking it fast because I'm thirsty. It's rather hot. It is, and it was hot at 8 o'clock this morning. I know. With the sun burning hot. Okay, so any flavor notes, aroma notes, body, finish, mouthfeel? Is it foreign or domestic? Domestic. It's one of the big boys, and you kind of get them mixed because they're all kind of tasting the same. So it's one of the, it's one of the big threes, for sure. It's not coarse light because the can's different. So it's like a uh, one of the Anheuser-Busch, Miller, or Coors beers you're saying? I think it's Miller Light. I could be wrong. Because Miller Light. Light's got a little kind of pilsner like taste. So I'm kind of torn. It. It's not Bud Light. It's not Bud Light. I know it's not. And how do you score this beer? It's pretty good on a hot good. day. Yeah, it's a hot. It's a it's a long more beer. When I finished cutting the grass, I never drank beer. Though. I always drank a lot of water. But I did later. Later on, I'll drink beer. Pretty crisp, not too watery really in the body, it has a little body to it, a little, little bit of flavor. 
Dos Equis, you know that's 4.2, but this can't be Dos Equis because Dos Equis is foreign. And that's, Dos Equis is kind of low on flavor too, you know. Uh, let's plenty of beers with 4.2. There's plenty of beers that came in. That's all like that. There's plenty of beers that nasty. There's plenty of beers that taste like this. It's not Miller Light because Miller Light's got a stronger Pilsner presence. It's not Bud Light. Well, how would you score this beer? There's nothing wrong with it. It tastes pretty good. And that's, so what number would you give it? I don't know, like a nine or something. Oh, you mean a double digit? Um, yeah, out of a hundred. I think you'd like it. Or you could do it out of 10, we could just convert the number. Like an 89 or something like that. Excuse me, B plus? Okay. Yeah. It's natural light. I can live with B plus. Keep it natural. I'll go along with that, 89. Yeah, B plus, very good product. Maybe you could go higher. Um, it's. I wouldn't go lower than 89. It's 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 all over the place. It could be several different beers. Yeah. I wouldn't go lower than 89. I think I'm fishing in the right direction now. Natural light. light. Natural light. That's four point two, right? Yeah. Yeah. I gotta go natural light. Natural light is your guess? Yeah. Okay, so close your eyes again and I'm gonna put it in your hand and then you can open your eyes when you get it. Oh. What light? <laughs> when did they change the flavor to this again? Originally sold as Budweiser Light. Yeah. In nineteen eighty two. About two years after that, it became Bud Light. You know, I wasn't getting the bread that you get from a Bud Light. This is a rice lager, so it uses rice as the adjunct. Uh huh. No corn. Okay. Just well, almost and rice. there. I guess natural light. This is made by the same company, and it's a Bud Light. They're both the same. So, Shh. going by the flavor, you know you're going to pay a pretty good amount more for Bud Light than natural light. So you would still just stick with natural light? Well, yeah, because they sell natural light in 15 packs. You know, it's usually like a dollar cheaper. Uh, so or more? Yeah, it depends. I mean, I, I don't know. I, don't, I mean, yeah, it's usually like two dollars cheaper. But what is this stuff going for a 12 pack? Then? I don't know, because I never buy it. Because I don't want to pay the extra money for the yeah, game. I don't either. I don't find you're getting anything better. I, I don't either. That's why I was just like, whoa, it tastes like this, but it tastes like that, and it tastes like this. That's why I said it's kind of, it was all over the place and all the stuff. I knew that it wasn't Miller like because the Pilsner taste is higher. It's got more of a beer presence. If I was looking and at I my was light. Like, natural light, but natural light's got a lower taste profile than this. If I was so, looking to buy light beer, I would just get whatever was cheapest for me. Like, because I think. Milwaukee's Best Light, Keystone Light, Natural Light, Bush Light, Bud Light, and so forth. Paps Light, which you can't ever find that. Or, uh, or they all taste the same. It's like Old Milwaukee Light. It's like they take their regular beer, which is which is it. pretty good, and, yeah, and they just add water to it, and so it waters it down. I, I think Natural Light is watered down the most. This is the one with the least flavor, but to me, that's the one that tastes the most like this. Hmm. It's very close in flavor to and what then I like. There are some light beers that are just on the verge of, you can't really call them light beer when you look at the calorie count, stuff like Michelob Light, which you can't hardly find, but I know where to find it. That one's like 118 calories, so that's getting to where it's like, is this really a light beer? Yeah, a lot of people drink Mick. Mick Ultra, that's the real popular one. And and you pay for it. You're gonna you're you want you're Mick buying Ultra, the name. You're gonna pay for it. Mick Ultra will cost you more than Budweiser. I can get a twelve pack of Michelob light, you know, the original from nineteen seventy eight. You remember those when yeah. they used to have the paper shroud bottles tear drop just like natural light used to. I can still get a twelve pack of that for fifteen ninety nine. We have, we have never done a review of that one. Huh. So anyway, so a very good beer, light beer. It's been on the market 40 years. It's the 40th anniversary of Bud Light. I don't, 
I've noticed they haven't done any celebration of that, but anyway, whatever. Maybe their 50th anniversary, they'll make a big deal out of it. Well, it's not an American company anymore. It's, it's owned, owned by a Belgian entity. Bel Belgian Brazilian company. <laughs> right. Oh, well, anyway, so laissez les bon temps relay, and we're going to end this review by saying V plus and go to St. Louis, Missouri and tour the Anheuser-Busch Brewery. I think that's like the closest I would get.